failed grief, a lost radiance. Well, you get the sense there that he's reading the culture and seeing beneath the activity. I'm trying to be a more enlightened man and focus on our, our similarities rather than our differences. In the Howell decision, Judge Horn said that the questions of literary merit or beauty and questions of social critique are protected by the Constitution. It's a combination of culprits in this case. Mike, it's partly network, it's principally agency and sponsored. In many ways, I think it's the audience themselves. How do you mean? So it's worse that way. Interesting. Uh, somebody asked me the other day if this means that uh, uh, I I'm going to be a, a, uh, a meek conformist. And I, my answer is no, I'm just acting the role of a tired nonconformist. <laughs> And I don't want to. I don't want to fight anymore. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to have to battle. They think that I'm completely crazy. An enormous psycho spiritual hunger. We need a kind of ecology or equilibrium or balance among all these services. Otherwise, we get hopelessly lopsided. And the what's wrong with television is the kind of effect it has on people's nervous systems. And it's not the program that uh, is unsettling or dangerous. It is simply the complete disruption of the human nervous system by this potent drug. The sense of tolerance. Every thought of understanding opens up our hearts. May the walls of separation vanish in our love. Every word of kindness brightens up the dark. It's like a time of well, that's terrifying news. The, the great mythological systems of, of modern and postmodern culture, of course, are materialism. The fantasy that the good life is found through the acquisition of material things. In my defense. The more so as one feels less and less connected to the invisible world. The man made some very perceptive statements. We have a new emotional perspective that actually moved the masses of, of, of humanity. Sometimes from dreams, the ideas, they come. It's obscene! Don't moralize, liars. So distracted that we... I can't see it. It's a gesture of sympathy to a friend who is in trouble, basically. With a certain amount of uh, anguish in it. God, not this again. This has been going on a long time. Ever since man began. Uh, this is an, is an example of sponsor interference, which is so beyond logic and which is so beyond taste. This I rebel against. So from then on I knew I wouldn't be able to publish the poem. And so I was completely free, completely free to write anything I wanted. But anyway, I'm sure that it'll be easier if we talk to them. The end of my poem.